Ted was on this heater at the time where he won like a million dollars over the last few months. And, uh, you know, his money's split between a few places and he's doing other things with the money. But, you know, it's like he's won quite a bit of money and he's playing with 100% of his bankroll. And uh, it's not a matter that he's going to be broke forever if he loses it, but it's just, you know, half a million dollars is a pretty small, uh, that, that, that's the amount he had in his box of Bellagio. Half a million dollars is a tiny amount to bring it to a 10,000, 20,000 game. I mean, that would be, you know, that would be the equivalent of bringing $500 into a $10, $20 limit game, which is, you know, that I mean, that's not super short. I mean, I've played games with that amount of money, but I've never played them where I could not just easily go another 500 or another 500 after that. And I haven't done it playing heads up where, you know, in four or five hands, you could lose uh, a big chunk of it, which is what happened to him. And uh, this, uh, that's how the book starts. And uh, Ted is the, uh, I really think of him as the biggest gambler in the world. I mean, whatever he's got, he's going to put it on the line. And uh, he's a, you know, I found him to be a really nice guy and a great storyteller. And, uh, you know, his stories invariably involve him getting into some kind of fix. You know, he's had up times and down times. But, I mean, you know, I, I think that he's generally... Uh, the same guy, whether he's up a million or down a million, and uh, I always figured that if he's in one direction or the other, there's a decent chance he'll get, you know, he'll get himself fixed up because he's, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's a great gambler and great instincts. On the other hand, the, you know, the money doesn't matter to him, so he's not, he's not out there to get ahead and then quit.